Well, all right. Uh, it's night. I mean, see? Hi. Hi, night time. <laughs> all right, anyway. This video is not part of a Goober Clunkers vlog. This is coming from Steven <laughs> and my disorder. All right, let's get started. Well, uh, it's called depersonalization disorder, which includes depersonalization and derealization. Oh, I don't want to. I'm not going to explain both. I'm going to exp. I'm gonna. I'm going to explain both together because that's the disorder. And it takes a lot of time to explain the difference. So here's both of them mixed together, which is depersonalization, and I'm, and I'm doing it that way. All right, first of all, when I start going through an episode, the first thing I notice is a feeling of being outside of my body, like an outside observer of my own body. Like, I'll feel like when I'm walking, I'll feel like my body goes ahead of me before I can catch up. Or the other way around, you know? Or the opposite of that. Or it can be anything, anything like that. You know, I go to touch something and... I, okay, next. The, sen the sensational, you know, sensational hallucinations. Or, okay, I'll say that a little different. Your senses are off. Like, uh, like I could go feel this wall, and I'll, I'll know I'm feeling it. I'll know what it feels like. I'll know what it's supposed to feel like. But it won't feel like that to me. It'll feel my. I'll feel slightly numbed. My whole body feels slightly numbed. Like I can. I could probably. I could punch the wall. And it would probably just feel like hard pressure. It wouldn't feel like I punched something. That kind of thing. Things don't feel right. And also, also sight, like all your senses are off. With me, sight and touch are the ones that bother me the most. With sight, it involves uh, depth, depth perception. So I have a problem saying depth. But, uh, Yes, depth perception. It, it, it can become so bad that uh, things will look 2D. Sorry I'm not looking at the camera much. I'll, I'm going to start doing that now. Things start to appear 2D. And that's uh, a bit concerning, you know, especially when you have to walk around and do things. You know, at one point, I was driving a car, but I don't do that anymore because, you know, I can't, I have to pull over every five minutes and calm myself down. I can't, I can't drive like that. It's like I'm driving into a painting or something, you know, it, no, I, I'm not doing it. Plus I have seizures, so driving's out of the question. Okay, I'm trying, I'm, I'm going to try to make this not such a long video. I always say that when I'm talking about this and then I just keep going on and on and on because it's a very complex thing to describe. <laughs> As I've said in other videos, I had a really bad head injury that left hemorrhaging on my brain, so that may be the cause of why I have this. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, I guess another thing would be, you know... And, you know, obviously anxiety because anybody would, you know, anybody would freak out about this stuff. Anybody. At least I think, maybe not as much as me because I'm a really sensitive guy. Like, I'm sensitive to everything. You know, physically, spiritually, anything. I'm just super hyper sensitive to everything. So... That might be, you know, why it bothers me so much. Is, you know, I go by senses. And when they're not there completely, I feel out of control. And it's not a good thing at all. I, I start losing it. I, 
I start, I, I jump, I jump around, I start pacing, I get on the floor, I do all the weirdest things and somebody that just met me and they came in my house and I was doing that, they would probably leave in fear. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what would happen if somebody didn't know me and they just came in and I was having an episode. They would... You know, I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia so many times, it's ridiculous when obviously I don't. Uh, come on, I'm talking to a camera. <laughs> Maybe I am. Maybe I am schizophrenic. No, I'm not schizophrenic. What? I love you, babe. <laughs> Me too. I say I'm not schizophrenic as I'm talking to a camera. <laughs> but yeah. That's, you know, that's pretty much the gist of it. You feel like you're outside of your body. Your senses are always off. I mean, you always have panic attacks unless you take medications for it. I take like seven medications. I'm not going to go into that. Don't ask me what medications I take. People always ask me what medications I take. And I won't tell you. I won't tell anybody. Personal, personal. It's a personal thing, you know, to ask people. Like, that kind of thing. All right, well, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, I gotta live with it forever. So, you know, doctors always say, accept it, <laughs> you know, just accept it, go for the ride, and hopefully one day you'll just, you know, stop letting it bother you so much, and I've had it for... I've had these symptoms for, man, since like 2006 or seven or something, like 11 years. And it still bothers me just as bad as it did then. If not worse, you know, if not worse, because I'm like, this is not going away, so maybe it isn't what I think it is. But it is, it is. Of course it is, what else could it be? All right, well. There's a summary of what it feels like, a summary of everything, really. I pretty much just covered it all for you, and uh, that's seven and a half minutes, and I pretty much uh, went through all of it for you. Well, this will go up separately from the vlog. This is not the vlog, okay? So don't, don't be like, I'm not watching them anymore. <laughs> no. no, no, don't do that, please. Please don't do that. All right, well... I'm, I'm not, alright, I'll see you guys later, you know, even though it's not a vlog, clunk everything, please, we appreciate it, alright, bye.